Hello guys, today we are going to speak on um, topic friends in students book Total English Intermediate. And uh, we are going to learn some new phrasal verbs. Сегодня мы с вами продолжаем работать по теме friends, друзья, учебника New Total English Intermediate. И сегодня мы с вами изучим um, фразовые глаголы. So answer the questions. Нам нужно ответить с вами на вопросы. After the reading the text, после чтения текста. What languages did the author speak and why? На, какие, на каких языках говорил автор? Почему? What language did her father tell of for using? Why? За какой язык ругал ее папа? За использование этого языка. Tell of, ругать, отчитывать. Why? Почему? Why did the author want to become a painter? Why was she not successful? Почему автор текста хотела стать художником? Почему ей не удалось? So we are reading the text. Here is the photo. Here we can see some small square of a small town. And let's read the text. Да, забыла сказать, что в тексте я выделила жирным шрифтом фразовые глаголы. Запомним. I was brought up in a small town near Paris. Brought up, воспитана. My parents are English. So I grew up speaking English and French. Grew up, выросла. A young English student lived with us during the school holidays. And she looked after me. Присматривала за мной. When my parents were away on business. Были не дома. I remember my father always told us off. Выговаривал меня, отчитывал нас. I remember my father always told us off if he heard us speaking in English because she was studying French. Usually we changed to French for a few minutes. Change to переключаться. And then carried on in English. Carry on, продолжать. When he couldn't hear us. Because it was easier for both of us. She was an artist and we got on very well. Got on gladly. I looked up to her. Я равнялась на нее, уважала. And later tried to become a painter myself. Unfortunately, I took after my father. Была похожа на отца. Who wasn't artistic. And so I was never successful. Let's read the text again. I was brought up in a small town near Paris. My parents are English, so I grew up speaking English and French. A young English student lived with us during the school holidays, and she looked after me when my parents were away on business. I remember my father always told us off if he heard us speaking in English because she was studying French. Usually we changed to French for a few minutes and then carried on in English when he couldn't hear us because it was easier for both of us. She was an artist and we got on very well. I looked up to her and later tried to become a painter myself. Unfortunately, I took after my father who wasn't artistic and so I was never successful. So answer the questions. What languages did the author speak and why? So let's remember. 
they often spoke two languages, English, because she was an English girl, and French, because they lived in Paris together with their family. What language did her father tell her for using and why? Her father told her off for using English because the girl, a student, that looked after the author, learned French, studied French. Why did the author want to become a painter? What, why was she not successful? The author wanted to become a painter because the girl, so the student that lived together with them and looked after her, was a painter and she looked up to her very much, but she wasn't successful because she took up after, she took after her father. Okay, and let's read the text once again. I was brought up in a small town near Paris. My parents are English, so I grew up speaking English and French. A young English student lived with us during the school holidays, and uh, she looked after me when my parents were away in business. I remember my father always told us off if he heard us speaking in English because she was studying French. Usually we changed to French for a few minutes and we carried on in English when he couldn't hear us because it was easier for both of us. She was an artist and we got in very well. I looked up to her and um, later tried to become a painter myself. Unfortunately, I took after my father, who wasn't autistic, and I, so I was never successful. Brought up, grew up, looked after, were away, told of, changed to, carried on, got on, looked up to, took after. All the verbs are in the past simple. Все глаголы в времени past simple. Прошедшие, но теперь мы с вами посмотрим на них в отдельных фразах в начальной форме. Grow up – расти. Bring up – воспитывать или воспитываться. Tell of – отчитывать. Take after – походить на кого-то. Look after – заботиться о ком-то. Смотреть за кем-то. Get on – Ладить. Look up to. Восхищаться, уважать кого-то. Carry on. Продолжать делать. So, grow up. The definition, определение, is develop from being a child to being an adult. Bring up is Eight, care for children until they are adults. Tell someone off is E. Talk angrily to someone because they have done something wrong. Take after someone is G. Look or behave like another member of your family. Look after someone or something is D. Take care of someone or something. Get on with someone is F. Have a friendly relationship with someone. Look up to is certainly A. It is to admire and respect someone. Carry on is B. That means to continue doing something. Continue. Okay, now let's match the phrases with the verbs. Grow up. Bring up. Tell off. Look after, take after, get on, look up to.
and carry on. You really? You look just like him. Look like Wiglidish, so that's certainly look after. I'm sorry, take after. The next one. I don't get on very well with my mother. We are argue a lot. The next one. I grew up in Brazil. It was a happy childhood. The next one. We carried on arguing even though dad had told us to stop. The next one. My brother always told us so for borrowing his records because I always scratched them. The next one. After their mother died, the children were brought up by their aunt. Okay, the last but one, I still look up to my old brother and ask him for advice. And the last one, my sister looked after me when I was ill. So the first one is you really took after your father. Okay. The next step is sum up all your knowledge and answer the questions. Where did you grow up? When you bring up a child, what do you think is the most important thing to teach him or her? As a child, did anyone tell you off? Why? Did this make you stop or did you carry on in any way? Which member of your family do you get on with best? Who in your family do you take after? Who looks after you when you're real? As a child, who did you look up to? Достаточно интересные вопросы, которые помогут вам не только в изучении английского языка, но также и понимание ценностей близких людей и друзей, которые находятся рядом с вами. Поэтому, пожалуйста, ответьте на эти вопросы либо себе, либо uh, share, in, share your comments, либо поделитесь комментарием. So, thank you very much for your attention. See ya!